This video explains how to read the vernier scale on the spherometer in the Newton's rings experiment. So the first thing I'd like you to notice is that there's a main scale here, there's a zero mark and in this direction which is the direction of increasing radius of curvature you have marks at one millimeters uh, one millimeter apart so you got zero one two three four five millimeters you've also got marks beneath that scale and they're at, they're the half millimeter marks so that's zero zero point five one point zero 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, 3.0 millimetres, and so on. On the other side, towards negative radius of curvature, in other words, concave surfaces, or surfaces below um, the, the, the flat mark, you also have the same scale. Let's uh, have a look at um, positive radius of curvature first. First of all, have a look at what happens when I uh, line up the zero of the fine scale. Now the fine scale is on the ring. I'll line up the zero, just keep it going. And let's just line it up here. There. This is the fine scale along here and the zero mark of the fine scale is lined up directly or pretty close to that axis. When it's lined up it's also actually the edge of that ring runs along the zero mark. Now watch what happens when I increase or go towards increasing radius of curvature it's this way see which numbers increase it's the numbers it's the outer set of numbers it's this set of numbers as I go towards increasing radius of curvature this set of numbers increases and when I get to zero again it lines up with the 0 0.5 millimeter mark here, which stands to reason because there are 50 marks in the fine scale. And, if, and of course if I keep going, I'll go past 0 0.5, now it's 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and line up the zeros again, and now that's at 1 millimetre. It lines up the edge of the ring lines up with this one millimeter mark exactly. Okay, so now suppose that you've placed the spherometer carefully on, onto the center of the circular uh, spherical surface. And suppose, just for argument's sake, that it reads let's see let's find a good one let's say let's say that let's say it reads that what is this reading so first of all you look at where the ring intersects this horizontal axis so it's bigger than 1.0 bigger than 1.5 but it's less than 2.0. So it's between 1.5 millimeters and 2.0 millimeters. Write that down. It's between 1.5 millimeters and 2.0 millimeters. Now, find the fine scale mark that lines up most closely with the horizontal axis. 
The one that lines up most closely with the horizontal axis is the one, is this one here, just past the main one, this one here. Because we're on the positive side of the curvature, we're looking at this ring here, and so that's 36. It's close, closer to 36 than to 35. Let's say 36. So we have to add the digits 3, 6 to what we just got, 1.5, to get a number less than 2.0. 1.5 is what we got using the course scale and we have to add the digits 3, 6 to 1.5 such that the answer is less than 2.0 and so it's 1.86 millimetres 6 millimetres above the flat, above zero so that's what happens if you're on the positive side of the radius of curvature. If for some reason you're on the negative side, it's very similar, but you just have to be careful um, to use the inner ring and also things that are a bit um, reflected. So that's zero. And now I'm going further, further and further below zero. And I'm going towards the 0 0.5 mil millimetre mark below zero. There, right there, I'm on the 0 0.5 millimetre mark. The ring lines up with the 0 0.5 millimetre mark below zero. Keep going. Now it's the, when, the, when I get the zero on the fine scale to line up with the horizontal axis, it's at the negative one millimetre mark. Okay, so that should be enough for you to use the vernier scale on the serometer whether or not you have a positive number above zero or negative num or net number below zero.